thank you for inviting me to do these little classes with you. What we're going to do this week, we're going to do four small classes and we're going to do some modelling figures, uh, making some flowers, piping some cupcakes and a little bit of brush embroidery, which is like painting with icing. A little word about hygiene. Uh, don't be licking your fingers and scratching your head when you're doing this. We need to keep the food really clean. Uh, I've provided you with a brush, a paintbrush, and that is for food use only, so don't use it for painting anything else. And I'm also providing you with a little bag with uh, icing for dusting things, and you need to keep that dry or it goes really hard. So I uh, hope you have fun doing what I've planned for you. Thank you. Hi everybody and uh, welcome to lesson one and today we're going to uh, do some sugar figures so I'll just let you see the kind of thing we're thinking of doing. I've uh, got a little puppy here so we're going to make that out of icing, put him out of the way and a little teddy bear. What we need for this class we need uh, our sugar paste so I've said if we could have some white Another colour, anything that you fancy yourself, there, and a little bit of black, which is for doing eyes on the tail. Uh, we also need our dusting bag, so we need to keep that dry. Um, gum glue, a little tub of gum glue that's been supplied. Your paintbrush, which is for food use only. A uh, piece of spaghetti your bamboo skewer, the little wooden knife and a cocktail stick, might need them and I've given you a template which has parts for the teddy bear and parts for the dog so this is what we need. So we're going to start with uh, the teddy bear and we're going to do him in this, I'm doing him in this lemon colour, you do whatever colour you want. So let's get the icing nice and soft and then break off maybe about less than half of it and roll that into a little ball and then use your template to see that it's roughly the same size and shape so we're going to put that aside then we're going to make the head roll a little ball this is going to be the head we're going to make two little ears so we'll just take two little balls like that, they're going to do for the ears. A little piece for the nose which will go here, another little piece, we'll put that there. Break off another piece. And we're going to look at doing both the arms. So we'll take one piece and kind of cut it in half. And roll a little sausage, lay it out, yeah it's about the right size, another one, yeah looks a nice size, and then we're going to do the legs. So I've taken one piece and I'm going to roll it into a little sausage and pull it in half. I'm going to roll another little sausage which is going to be for that leg. I've made it a little bit bigger but that's okay. Actually I'm going to take a piece of that off. For that. I'm trying to get rid of that crack in it. Another piece like that. So that's all the parts we need. So I'm going to take the template away. First of all we'll do the face. So we're going to take the round bit for the head. I'm going to flatten it just a little bit. Then I'm going to use the bamboo skewer and above the midway line we're just going to make two little holes like that. And then we're going to take some of our gum glue, tiny little piece and just wet these little bits here, put that down. And we're going to take a little bit of the white icing and we're just rolling tiny little balls, two of them about the same size, and we're going to drop them in for eyes. Too much. Put that 
mark. And we're going to take a little bit of the black. So we'll put just another piece of gum, a uh, bit of gum glue on this to wet this to make it sticky on the eyes. We hardly need any of this at all. So tiny little piece, a tiny little ball like that. And put this, and never put it in the middle, put it sort of high up and look into the side, just looks cuter. Another tiny little ball, put it on, and it's going the same way. Put that back. Then here's our little snout, so he's going right there between the eyes. Little ball, and squash it down. Another little piece of gum glue there. And we're going to take another little piece of black, bigger than the eyes, and put that on for his nose. And to give him a little bit of expression, we'll just take our little knife and we'll do, coming down from the nose, a little line that way, and a little line that way, and a little line that way. And we'll put that aside. Then we're going to take the body. So I've got a nice kind of egg shape there and we're going to Sit it up a bit like this. And then we're going to take a piece of spaghetti. Dip it into the gum glue a little bit. And push that down the middle. And then we're just going to snap it off maybe about that height there. So snap that off. And that's just for the head to sit on. But we'll put the head on last. So we're going to take the legs next. So they're quite a nice size, as you can see, but we'd like to put some feet on them. So we're going to roll them and just push that up a bit like that. And same this one. Put that away. Push the foot up a bit. So we'll take a little bit of gum glue again onto that leg and put it there. Onto the inside there. And push them in and just turn those feet up a little bit. I'm going to put the arms on next so that they're going to sit about here. A little bit of gum glue where they're going to sit. Both the arms, and it's quite nice to use together because then you kind of push against the pressure rather than knock it down. So arms are on there, a little bit of gum glue, and fold them round and do what you want. Head's going to go on now. A little bit of gum glue for where the head's going to go. Now you could put the head straight on. But sometimes it's nice, it looks cuter if you kind of tilt it. So I'm going to tilt that slightly like that. And he's sitting on our piece of spaghetti. So you can see him like that. Bit of gum glue. And then we just need where the ears are going to go on the top of the head. A little bit of gum glue there. And here's our two ears. And we're just going to give them a little squash flat like that. And push them on. And you might want to use your little round end of your stick just to put them on. And that's him done. Other than that, I like to put a little bow on them, take a little bit, well I'm taking white. We're going to roll a sausage. So I'm just rolling that in my hand. Roll it out on the board a little bit there. I think that looks long enough. And then we're just going to Cross it over like that, push it down, and then we're going to push the top of the circle into that. Another tiny little piece of gum glue in there, and pop it in. You might want to use your stick just to kind of get it tight in. Rather soft, and that's him done. So I'm going to put him aside. Next, we're going to do the little puppy. That I've shown you here. So we're going to do him. So I'm working in white for this. So again I'm going to take a piece, it's maybe smaller than a golf ball, ping pong ball size. I like white for that. Roll it, get it nice and soft. And we're going to roll it into a kind of sausage shape like this. And we'll bring our template over and we'll just get an idea how he's going to sit there. So we want to bend his body. Just get a little kind of curve there on his body. So that's that part done. We'll take some more. 
So we're going to do the two back legs now. So I take one piece, roll it into a ball, into a sausage and break it in half. Then I'm going to roll one little piece for a back leg. That's actually too big. I'm going to make it smaller. Pull them apart. So these are for our back legs. We'll put them there. Another one. That's okay. There. Do the front legs now. Another piece. Probably got too much there to be honest. And I'm going to roll it into a long sausage. Break it in half. And you can see that will do for one leg. And that one's for the other one. So we're going to put them there. And then we're going to do the head. So another small piece of white icing. Roll it, keep it nice and soft and pliable. And I'm rolling a ball and then I'm going to roll it slightly more to the front because I want it to look bigger here and narrower here. So it's kind of pear shaped. So this is going to be our head. And you can see when we do that, he's got a kind of more of a head and a, a snout. So that's going to go there. Um, we're then going to make, I'm going to take black for this. Two little ears and a little black tail. So one piece, I'm going to roll it, split it into two, and we just roll it into, into a little sausage on our hands and flatten it down, and that's going to be an ear. And another one, flatten it down, and that's another ear. Another tiny little piece, and this is going to be our tail. So we're just Fat at this end and thin at this end, and that's our little wiggly tail which will go on the back. Now we're going to put it all together. I think first of all what we could do is put little paws on this. So the front bit of each foot, just use your little knife to make a line in the middle, another one either side, and that gives you a little pause. So we're going to do that on each foot. So one in the middle, one at the side, one at the side. Middle, side, side. Middle, side, side. And that just gives us three little feet. So now we're going to use our gum glue. We'll take the body and we're going to put the back legs on first. So I'm going to put some gum glue onto the body, onto the sides at the back. Now, when we're taking this, if you have a look on the model. This is the kind of hip part here. So we're going to squash this part flat. So there's our little leg. I'm going to bend that up a bit and just give it a squash flat. And he's going to go on there. The other one, the same foot to the front, bend that leg up a bit and just give it a squash and put that one on there. Front legs, a little bit of gum glue on the side. And just one there, one there, and just give them a little squash so that they're on. And you can bend them in a bit if you want them to look cute. The head, piece of gum glue on the broad piece at the back, and just put his head on there and it will stick. We could also put another couple of little holes in where we want the eyes to be. So we're using the blunt end and just a couple of little holes there. So then we're going to use, we'll take a little piece of our black just to do eyes and his nose. So we'll gum glue it up first, touch a gum glue into the eye sockets and on the front for his nose. So tiny little ball rolled and that's going to be one eye, pop it in. Another tiny little ball and we're going to go in this eye. And then might take a slightly bigger piece, it's just a little bit bigger, a little ball, and pop that on for his nose, right on the end there. 
Then we can put his ears on and his tail. So side of the head a bit of gum glue, side of the head a bit of gum glue, and at the back a bit of gum glue. So here's his ears. That's one on, just keep this part loose, one there, another piece there, and give them a little squash together. And you can kind of move them about if you want them to look a wee bit quirky. And his tail is there, putting the wide end onto his bottom there, and you can curl that up. I put some patches on him too, so all I did was kind of put some gum glue at random spots, took some of the black, and just roll it into balls, and then just squash it into any old shape on your hand. So it's nice and thin like that, and then just put it on and flatten it down. Another one. And just do as many of them as you want. I'll put one on his leg there, a little squash. And, on. and that's your little puppy ready to go on your cake. Thanks everybody for watching and I hope you have fun making this. Mm -hmm.